Welcome to Wallatopia. Today we are looking at this. This is the Corker Cork Wallet. I can't believe that they can do something like this out of cork bark of the cork oak tree and make it last. Coming up. All right, welcome to Wallatopia today. We are going to be reviewing this. This is the Corker product. And uh, as we'll get into this from the introduction, it is made out of cork. Let's get into this and see what we've got here. So, alrighty. We open this thing up, we notice we've got a uh, nice entry here. Got a wallet in here as well. Let's pop this open from nature. That's nice. Thank you, 10% off coupon there. The thing that's nice is that this is vegan approved for those who are looking for natural alternative to leather, something that's not a standard leather product. You'll notice that the box is also a cardboard, so that's recyclable. Nice uh, little piece here, and here is our wallet. I mean, let's take a closer look at this up here. So this is a dark blue color, love the blue. <clears throat> it comes in various different colors as well. It's a standard bifold, as you can tell, and it's got a number of credit card uh, options in here. It looks like three on each side, so you got at least six there plus two uh, options there for the inside you'd typically see in a bifold. So what's interesting about cork is that this is very light and the reason this is light is because it is uh, 90, well 89 percent or so is what they say roughly air and that's why it, within cork and that's why cork is very light but they also say it's very durable because of that same reason. Now if we uh, look at the inside of this get a better view uh, we can see that it's got uh, nice sewing around, it's got a stamp both on the inside outside there and so, but otherwise it's a pretty standard wallet. Let's uh, take a look at its its capabilities by way of durability. Oh yeah, you can see right there already. You can see that's kind of pulled out there. Let's see how easy this is to pull out on the other side. Actually not very, it's not, not too easy. I guess it may depend, oh see that popped right there. Uh, not something that you like to see but uh, it is cork. Cork is not indestructible. It doesn't have a, a tremendous amount of stability from that perspective. It's a flat plane and what it does. But in, in this case, the way that they, they use this is they will strip the bark off of what are called cork oak trees. And cork oak trees, they uh, have to be in, you know, alive for about 25 years or more in growth before they can strip it. And they'll strip the outer layer of the bark off and then they'll use that uh, for manufacturing. And then within 8 to 14 years, they can go back and they can do this again. So that's what uh, that's what they're looking at there. So um, let's see how many things we can get in here. How many cards? Because that's our test, the card test here. So let's take a look. We've got one, two, you know, three, four. I mean, we'll obviously get six on each, uh, three on each side. So we'll get six total there. And let's see. So let's take a look at that. What does that look like? All right, that's interesting. Let's let's look at this to see by way of uh, its thickness with just six cards in there. So. That's about 0.7 inches is what we're looking at there. So it becomes kind of a standard bifold at this point. I'm not seeing anything incredibly unique with this except that it is cork. If you like that as your material, then I think that's fantastic. And let's see, I think we can stuff more in here if we want. Let's try and get two in each of these slots to see what it does for us. I'm sure it'll give us a better idea. It's handling them just fine. That is 10 right there. And uh, always being the proper person that's prepared, we have 10 more. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so there we have two on each side. <clears throat> there is 12 right there. That is 12. That's 12. Whoosh. Let's just close this and see what we've got. Woo, baby. That is kind of getting to be a Costanza level wallet here. Let's see what we're getting. So that is uh, you know, 0.9 now. So almost an inch thick is what we're getting at. And that's without doing putting anything in here on these sides or you know, putting any kind of uh, bills in here or other cards. So its capacity is big, Let, let's be honest. It, it has a high capacity for what it can do. And that's why, uh, you know, as a standard wallet, I think it'll be great. This will be a wallet that I think I'll take through the long-term carry test. And as, if you don't, as you know, my long-term carry test is I take one of these wallets and you vote on those on the surveys that I have uh, on the website, uh, walletopia.info. And if you go out and vote on those and we get enough, then those will be the ones that I'll take in a long-term test. So this will be the one that I do because I'm really interested in durability on this one. 
And that's part of the scoring that we'll go through uh, in my final rating on this is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how this does. But we'll give an initial rating on this. I'll take it out for a long-term test and we'll see how it performs. And we'll post that up as a new video for you to watch. Now, if you're interested about the rating, of course, look up here in the corner. There's a video there you can click on. It takes you through the details of how I do my ratings uh, for each of these wallets. Now, if you've got information about this that you'd like to share, that I can bring up after or as part of the long-term carry report, put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to hear from you as well as always. And uh, we'll go from there. Corker Bifold Wallet. Mine's in blue. Love the blue. Quality overall, again, it's uh, really dependent on the materials. In this case, it's cork. Cork has the ability to uh, be very durable, and generally when they're creating products out of cork, they will include a, a uh, fabric that's sealed to it, and the silicone uh, that's also part of that seal makes it very stain and water resistant, and, and durable in that case. Uh, it has very low density, so it's very light. Um, we'll be taking this through a long-term usability test as well, but we're gonna give this a four for quality. Price, I bought this for 30 bucks. It is unique material, so it's a little different than normal, so we're gonna give that a pricing rating of four out of five. Features, it's not got a lot of unique features to it. It's a standard billfold. Quick uh, access slots are two or six, and there's two that are in the inside. Of course, there's a billfold in there for cash and cards or anything else you want, so we'll give that a two. Usability, just off the, the cuff, uh, it's a bit slippery compared to leather, but it's manageable. Uh, it did kind of pull out on that fabric there that was stitching, so you know that's kind of questionable for long-term use. But we'll give it a middle range of three, and again, we'll revisit this when we go through the long term. The perception. So perception for me is I thought the packaging was nice. It fit with the theme of, of being an alternate uh, uh, sustainable product. Everything was recyclable to it. I thought the perception was well. It was packaged well, had great insights into their mission, what they try to accomplish, and the quality of the products. So we're going to give that a 3 for an overall rating of 3.4. If you go down into the, into the details of the notes, you'll notice that there is a link to all of the ratings, so you can compare them as you go forward. Thanks, Mike.